Welcome back, everybody. It is Nick. Mike. <laughs> That's so slow. That's faster. Mike. And Nick. Nick and Mike. We're here going live. And um, me and Nick. Just wanted to say hello. I have to put the phone real quick. Okay, we're back. I got a new haircut. It does, it looks really good. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. So, on tonight's menu, and um, yeah, tonight's, tonight's menu for you guys is crispy chicken parmesan with cheesy zucchini. So, that's what we're planning to make. Mike's got the zucchini. We already hammered the chicken. Pounded. Pounded the chicken. Hammered, pounded. And you know what? We just want to say something real quick because Mike corrected me, okay, in a video. And um, you're on skinny mode, flip the camera around. But if I flip the camera around, how am I gonna see what I'm looking at? I don't know this shit, so you just, just do your thing. All right, let me see what I can do. Hold on, hold on, guys, because we've got seven people in here. I don't want to screw this up. Seven whole people. Okay, so tell me if this is better, guys. Hold on. Is this better? Orient orientation is locked. Rotate device back. Hey, there's out loud. Is it John or is it Brian? Hey, what's up? How are you? How are you? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try. Rotate device back. Okay. So weird. It's not letting me flip, guys. I don't. I don't know. I'm not super tech savvy. I wish I could figure it out, but we're just gonna let it roll because I don't really feel like messing with it, to be honest with you. So, anyway, um, we just wanted to make a little public service announcement, right, Mike? Uh, we, yes, of course. Yeah. So we made a little video. Up. Keep it vertical selfie mode. Thank you. That's what I thought. I don't know. For some reason, it won't let me flip. First question, is that John or Brian? We need to know. Love you, dudes. Let me see some cooking skills. I don't know. It's out loud, so it's one of them. Um, Kimmy, it's okay. Usually, you can just, just flip it. Don't look at the comments. Just talk. Okay. Let the comments go. I'm sorry. You're I'm, correcting I'm being, me. I'm being bossy, as usual. Okay, so speaking of that, okay... Sorry. We had a comment. I always say, come hang out with me and Mike. And this turned into a whole thing over like this past like six months. And so someone in the comments, Mike corrected me <coughs> or someone put, it's Mike and I. And then um, Mike corrected me in a video, but it's kind of like a personal thing. It's pretty funny. Personal joke. A personal joke. And then someone like commented like a freaking paragraph and was like, when Mike corrects you, don't let him do that. He's, uh, he's taking dominance over you. And in the age gap relationship, it's like a- Dominance over a six foot five guy. It's like a, um, yeah, I know. And he's like, it's like a, um, a father teacher, teacher student thing. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys know, it's okay. It's an inside joke at this point, and that's it. So, moving forward. Oh, so John and Brian are both in here. How interesting. Well, guys, tonight we're going to be cooking crispy chicken parmesan. And it's a 35 to 45 minutes. This is with Home Chef, by the way. We've been doing their meals, and they're, like, amazing. We love them. Um... Every meal we've had so far has been awesome. So we pounded out the chicken, cut up the zucchinis. Now we're going to put them on this tray over here, right over there. 
and there's Mike's squids and pineapple okay, and probably should probably frogs. Yeah, we gotta move those. So, seven people in here. Wow, seven whole people. Yeah, Mike's playing. Uh, Nick, Mike's playing with the zucchini. It's okay, usually you can just flip it, it'll switch. Love you. You know what, John and Brian, we love you too. I'm still regretting Key West. It really pisses me off the more that I think about it. It was gonna be an awesome trip, but obviously, public service announcement or let you guys know, your mental health and your, uh, yeah, your mental health in your body and everything comes first. So you gotta take care of that. All right, so what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I'm just reading the directions. I'm just trying to, you caught me a little off guard. So. Sorry, I just kind of like, hey Mike, we're going live and then we figure it out. Now our guest should be here soon, special guest. It's actually single Steve will be joining us, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Did you talk to him a little bit? No, I didn't talk to him. Let me see the directions. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I need directions, sorry. You guys like this Florida shirt? I think it's pretty awesome. So what should I do? Um, I don't even know yet, because I'm still trying to figure this out. Okay, step one, prepare the chicken. Pat chicken dry. Combine half the panko. And Parmesan. John Lester, howdy. Hey, John. So right now, Mike's making the breading, for the, chicken. the breading and the cheese. I think it's panko. So that's all there. Place zucchini on a baking sheet and spray with cooking spray. Toss with garlic, salt, and a pinch of pepper. Spread into a single layer and top evenly with Parmesan. Okay, I can do that. So I think the best thing to do would be just to take a bag. Because we're gonna like, <laughs> like, I hate being live. Sorry guys, I'm not like into this. So. It's okay, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> not a big deal. The pressure is like. There's no pressure. pressure. It's just people watching us from all around all, the world. Yeah, all seven. No, now there's four people. Okay, no, they got bored, so now they're done. That's okay. So how was your guys' day? Did you guys do anything interesting? I had a lot of boats go out today. Mike got a haircut, if you guys can tell. And um, what else did I do today? I worked out. It was a really rough workout in the morning. And then I went to my meeting. And then from there, I went to work, and then I got off work at like after six, so it's been a long day for me. Then I gave the dog a bath, I shaved, so it's been a day. Pretty good, it's cold here in Tennessee. Yeah, I don't know, I think I've been to Tennessee like maybe once or twice. Well, not here, it's like 80 degrees, my face is red. Mm. I'm trying. Um, That's good. So right now he's sprinkling the cheese and panko. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Panko on the zucchini. So I don't know if you guys can see this right now. Put that in the oven. got a bath.
Yeah, it snowed here today. Oh my gosh, dude. I think I've seen snow like maybe two to three times. That's it. Um, all right, so now breading the chicken. Notice who's doing all the work and who's doing all the talk. Okay, well, you got to entertain the folks. Well, I mean, I can't. I can't. Yeah. So, question for everybody out there. Has anybody followed through on their New Year's resolutions? New Year's? Yeah. We're in April now, so it's been four months. If you guys made any resolutions that you followed through, I'd love to know. I quit vaping, and it's been rough. But I have not vaped. I have not vaped since <laughs> January 1st. There. So... I'm feeling pretty good about that. <sighs> JD Presley, no resolutions. This really isn't like much. Just two items. That's it. That'd be it. And then the sauce. Yep. Eight people in here. There's the sauce. Huh? No, I was just saying there's the sauce. Well. Again. Thanks for your help. I'm trying to help you. You're not letting me do anything. What, what, what am I supposed to do? This is garlic salt. Oop. That was a lot of garlic salt. This looks really good. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start the actual sauce. So, step one, prepare the ingredients. Trim zucchini, mixing bowl, okay. Step two, prepare the chicken. Step three, start the zucchini, did that. Step four, start the chicken. Place a medium nonstick pan over medium heat, add three tablespoons of olive oil, let heat five minutes. Okay. Exactly what I'm doing right now. All right, well, you know what, guys? This cooking show is failing miserably. Is failing miserably. But you know what, it's okay. okay. No worries. Here's the chicken. Oh, you want to know something? So I got this little thing. Hold on. The oven. Okay. Yeah, we're failing miserably at this, but you know what? It's all right, guys. Honestly. Hey, so the Esquire Club. Yes, I've lost 60 pounds on keto. That's really good, man. Congratulations. So, real quick, I bought this really, really cool uh, thing for the side of the oven that you put spoons on and spatulas or whatnot in Mexico for, from one of the vendors. The same place where Mike, or when we were sitting at the restaurant, bought a blanket. So, it's pretty cool. I have on the errand... Um, who just texted me, but Aaron, I can't see it because if I get off of the live, it's gonna shut it down. So I know you're in here. I know you're probably wanting to comment. If you guys uh, don't know or haven't seen on the Aaron, good kid, started a channel, um, definitely go follow him. So I don't know, we're failing miserably. Mike's basically doing all the cooking. I used to be a sous chef, I swear. Oh boy, I need a cover. Oh my God, you got some going everywhere. Oh, 
Okay, that makes it all worth it. <laughs> Sorry for the embarrassment. Yeah. So anyway, oh, you flow grown. You like the t-shirt? Thank you, Dallas. Worcester, Worcester, MA? Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester, Massachusetts. Boston. Never been, never been up there. I don't think I've ever been to Boston. Nope, never been to Boston. Never been to Chicago. Definitely someplace that I want to check out. So. Well, what do you guys want to know? You want to talk about anything? Or I'm going to log out of this. Um, disaster. This literal disaster of a live slash cooking video we were supposed to do. Maybe me filming it is better than going live because I can, I can edit stuff. Is there a pool at Mike's house? Yes, there is a pool. It's right out there. I'll show you guys actually. Hold on. Uh, okay, let me show you guys. There's Mike over there. And then over here is the patio, the grill, and here's the pool. Welcome to Florida, everybody. The pool. Look at this really cool hot air balloon that we got. It's a solar light. It's pretty freaking awesome. And then these are all of Mike's orchids. He has a whole orchid wall. He loves his orchids. It's like his thing. If you go this way, there's more orchids over here. He's really into plants and everything. He's got so many. Oh my God, I think Steven's home, guys. Crikey, I think he's here. Follow me. Okay, guys, Steven is here. Single Steve is in the house. You made it. There he is. What's happening? Dallas, yes, they are real orchids. Steven, we're live. We just had a failure of a cooking Not show. Yeah, it was not good. Did Mike save the day? He did save the day. He always saves the day. Yeah. <laughs> come out here and come live with us. Do you guys have any questions for Steve? He was in our Playa del Carmen video. Buenos noches. So here's the thing, guys. I learned a little bit of Spanish. What did you learn? Very, very little. Oh, Steve is a sexy beast. That's what someone literally just put, I swear. Steven, don't run away. Hi, YouTube. So how was your, how was your day? Was busy, very, very busy. So came Steve- Came back from the gym. Yeah, he came back from the gym. He had to get some aggression out. Steven is actually an interior designer. A single interior designer. Yes. Anyway, we'll just go over here and get all of us in the shot. So, anyway, uh, someone asked if your orchids were real. Of course they're real. I mean, they look so fake. Yes. They're so pretty. I was trying to show them, like, the pool, and they said it was beautiful, Mike. We have 13. Hello from Orlando. Hello. I love the short shorts on Steve. He has great hair. <laughs> How sweet. Oh, Pearl. Pearl is meant for the camera. I know, she's beautiful. So what are you guys cooking? So what was this? Chicken Serious farm. coal? Yes, so we are cooking uh, crusted, right here, chicken, crispy, crispy chicken, chicken parmesan. With, with cheesy zucchini. Cheesy. It ain't easy. Damn cheesy. You know where that's from? No one knows. It's from the longest yard. So how do you count? 
how much fat and all that. Yeah, it's on when you order it, not on that. Got yeah. It. So what was this? You have to worry about fat. I mean, you guys are doing this so you can oh. get like your sexy yes. summer body, right? Summer body. So, you guys, do you guys know what is on tonight on TV? You want me to tell you? Farm. Steven's favorite show. Steven's. Farmer, Farmer wants a wife. Farmer yeah. Wants a wife. <laughs> He's smiling. That's awesome. There you go. Farmer wants a wife. We love it. It's um, a great show. It is. It's a really good show. Steve loves. It's, it's American, American. Yeah, but what's the, what's what's the the redneck farmer that you think is handsome? It's the one that like not oh, does yeah. the potatoes. It's not the older yeah, guy. It's the other dark hair. Yeah. What is his farm? I should know this. I can't remember. Is it what is the Tennessee or something? I know it's uh. Something. I don't know what he does, but anyway, Steve is like in love with. The cheese, the cheese Maybe stands on. Oh, I'm sorry. My. <laughs> so. Classic Mike. No, but um. Anyway, I I can't remember, but Farmer Wants a Wife is a great show, and then me and Steven also watched Dilf Mansion, or what was For it? The love of Dilf. For the love of Dilf. <laughs> Funny story about that, actually. So. But it got canceled. It did. I mean, oh, our subscription. So here's what happened, guys. Here's what happened. I'm going to tell you all the tea. So Steven was like, hey, we should definitely buy this show. And I was like, oh, okay. So we buy it. And I was like, we'll just, we'll just buy it. I wasn't home. Mike was in the bedroom, but in bed sleeping. Me and Steven were like, oh, let's get it. So we go to buy it. And literally, he's like, do you think Mike will know that we bought it? It was like $3.99 or something. Within a minute. Within like two minutes, I get a text from seconds. Mike from the bedroom. Did you buy did something? You buy something? Did you buy yeah, something on the Apple TV? I was like, well, Steven wanted to watch For the Love of Dilfs, but actually I wanted to watch it as well. So it was so really it was funny. Idea. Yeah. Glenn Roebuck is Steve single. Talk to him, Steve. I am single. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what do you respond to? to world, you respond to, to people like live? Yeah, yeah, so these are all the comments right here. You're literally live on TV right now. This is them. So you reply to them. So like... So you reply, like, you don't write back to them. You talk to them. You just talk to them. Like, hey guys, what's going on? You don't even know who's watching you. It's just probably some like... It could be random people. Um, she stands alone. What does that even mean? Single. So there's 16 people in here, five likes, been live. And you want to look up at this green dot right here because that, like, this is the camera. Like, you don't want to be, like, looking oh, you here. Look at the you want to look up here so that people think, like, you're talking to them. Just giving them a little knowledge. That's great. He is the Steve from Sensi. No. No, no, that's a different Steve. This is Steve, Steve? from Steve Ecuador. Chapa. Who's that? He was he was um, He was the guy who came out to the Lake House party. He's the cheerleader coach. Ah nice yes. almost Yes. Okay. Well he watches our channel. <laughs> he was on last time we were live. Oh right, Sunday. Yes. Right? Something like that. So is, so it's a different Steve, basically. And um, what All we. All Steves are single. Sadly. But he's a great. This is a great guy. He's a good guy. He's got a good heart. He's a good guy. This is a good guy. Yeah, they weren't saying that last night when we were watching Survivor and um, Amazing Race because I was laughing at some of the people. Steve needs to step up on your Spanish lessons, Nick. Listen, I, you know what? This is Spanish lesson time right now. How do you say chicken? Chicken. Pollo. Rosito. Rosis, rotisserie? No. Oh, yeah, pollo. Pollo, pollo tropical. <laughs> Bernie Ryan says he's cute. He cute. <laughs> he cute. He cute. Um, you guys playing, I'm cooking. 
That's my man. I'm cooking. He's cooking. But we're having a good. We're, we're That's just. All right. Yeah. I'll do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Spanish Spanish quiz right now. Oh, Glenn wants to know, does he like bears? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. Why Steve, not? Yeah. Steve likes bears. He's more of like, he likes the all-American look, kind of, would you say? Currently, right now, yes. That's like his type. But he also likes bald guys with, with big, big ears. ears. And I'm not kidding you. Like, <laughs> anybody out there that's bald, bald with big, big ears, ears that's tall. You call it. <laughs> call it. And um, so this is what I learned in Spanish. Pollo chicken. You want me to say sugar? Azucar. Azucar. Um, you want me to say I'm sorry? Lo sientos. And good afternoon. Then, good afternoon. Buenos tardes. Good morning. Buenos dias. Good night. Buenos noches. Um, hola, como estas? Hello, how are you? Um, uh, me llamo Nicolas, baño, bathroom, gallete, lavoca, shut up, Chi chico, gallete, lavoca, chico, that means shut up, shut up, boy, boy, right, yeah, and chica would be girl, yeah, um, chica, chica, and that's basically, uh, all I really know, y'all know what they say about men with big ears, no. What do they say? What do they say, Dallas? What do they say? Big. You have big ears. My, <laughs> they have big hands? Big feet. Big, <laughs> you do have big feet. So I guess it's true? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Is it? Um, I don't know. I would say it's true. Yeah. Then you do know. Um, does he like older guys? Glenn Roebuck. Yeah, how do you look, Glenn? Let's see. That's Glenn right there. You can see. Wow, this light is... Here, I'll turn it off. No, it's fine. It's good. Do they prefer a light or a light? I don't know. It doesn't really... I don't think it matters because we have good lighting right here. So, what's funny, something that you don't really know. Steve doesn't smile very much in pictures, but he does smile on camera. Because I don't know what to do. Like, how do you, what, what do you say to your fans? You just like, oh, there's 20 people in here. 56, single, employed, blue eyes, great kisser, romantic. Employed. Whoa, oh, okay, Glenn, okay, we blue see. Blue eyes, great kisser. Is Glenn single? Glenn, are you single? It's We're gonna play matchmaker. Welcome to Out of Fear Gang matchmaker right now. You can't take Mike, cause I'm with him. But, Steven and Steve Chapman. No, so I'm not even in the picture, so yes. Steve is getting a date, exclamation point. I'm getting a date? Yes, that's John, John. Lester. With John or with whom? Uh, with Glenn. Okay. What does yeah. Glenn live? Glenn, where do you live? Steven would like to know. So, you know what? Actually, I had somebody message me. I had somebody message me on Instagram and asking me. He's an older gentleman. He is currently looking for younger guys. <laughs> okay, so this, this guy messaged me, guys. This is serious. And I need your guys' input. He said... I'm looking for younger guys that are not sugar, sugar babies or are not gold diggers. And he said, how do I find them? And I said, I think the best option for you would be to like find some type of like league, like a kickball league, softball league, something like that. CrossFit. CrossFit. There could be some gay younger guys in CrossFit, but... How, I mean, if he doesn't want to do CrossFit, it would need to be something that's a little bit more, <clears throat> you know, like anybody could do kickball or softball or something, right? Well, not a lot of people play sports. Okay, but let's say Steve. Steve is not old at all. 
old He's me? young, yes. I'm saying you're not old. How would you, let's say you're 10 years from now, and, <laughs> and you're looking, you're looking for somebody younger that is not a gold digger, how would you find them? Not at the club, like for a relationship, not just, you know. I think through mutual friends, maybe. Okay, mutual friends, great answer. It's always good because it's a point of reference. Right. I would know. Right. Um, some t I, like some type of activity. I feel like you got to get out. Like you got to do something. Yeah. Like, I don't think meeting them online is the best option. Oh, look, John put bingo. So Glenn said, love dogs to make good money. Wait, love dogs to, oh, love dogs to make good money. Love to pamper my BF. Wink face. Oh, that's Steve. Latin men are my weakness. Oh, God. I think I'm as, I am as Latin as you can get. Like you Yeah. Know? If, you know like what? Yesterday, like during oh, dinner, like you guys, the funniest thing happened yesterday. Really like like, Latin moment. It was like, so, what's his name? Stephen orders, and I'm cooking while they're talking. <laughs> is this the show cooking with Mike? And, and, and yes. Yeah. Come cook with us. We're just dishing it out here. Yeah. So okay, listen, guys. Let me set the scene. Me, no. Mike, Steven, and I. Oh, wow. Wow. Right, right? Right? You like that? Mike, Steven, and I were all at dinner, and these two ordered clam chowder. Now, Steven orders clam chowder, and the server is like this younger kid, probably like 17, 18, right? He goes... Oh, you're going there? Yeah. I was okay. going to tell him the story. Because he was talking about uh, the, his, his weakness is Latin men. So... The server was like, the server was like, oh, uh, no, no. Steve was like, okay, I got the clam chowder. I want to. I usually eat my clam chowder with Tabasco and lime. Okay, he normally, lemon. yes. Uh, you guys heard that. I don't need to repeat it. He eats it with lime, lemon, and Tabasco. But he tells the server, he says, can I have lime, lemon, or Tabasco, one of the three? I said, and in Tabasco, but he said, he said one of the three. Mike knows exactly what I'm talking about. So the server's like, okay, so which one, like, which one do you want? And Steven's like, the green one. The green one. So because I, I still, I mean, you're still learning, right? So I'm like, not still learning. I speak like, I guess, normal English, but the difference between lime or lemon, it's very <laughs> different. It's difficult. Right. I understand. So Lime is green. Yes. Lemon, lemon is yellow. yellow. But in Ecuador, lemon is, is green, green and lime is yellow. Okay, so it was just mixed up. So anyway. So I think in Spanish, in order to like speak, I... I right. No, it's okay. So we basically, he goes, gets the clam chowder. He brings back just a lime. Okay. And then all of a sudden... He's like, Steven's like, no, I, I, I want the Tabasco and the lemon, right? It's just the stuff in there. Yeah. What do you smell? I thought it was vodka. What? It is water. Vodka. No. 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 no not at all. Vodka. No. No. So. Anyways. Anyway, this. Hey, my name is Chris from Texas. Hey, Chris. Good to meet you. So, the server comes back and is like, oh, um. He, he was like, I, I just got the lemon or the lime. And, just the lime. Or just the lime. Steven's like, I need all three. I'm, I told the server, I said, I'm sorry. Steven he's said it wrong. He's just I said, his English is not the best. And this server goes, well, don't worry. Both my parents were immigrants too. And like throws his hands up. He's like, no big deal. Both my parents were immigrants. And I was just like... Oh my God. Steven was about to spit out his water. It was pretty offensive, but it was really funny. Kind of like... In an innocent way. Yes. Right? Yeah. It was just According like... According to Mike, it was very innocent. It was very innocent. It was very innocent. Yeah, it was. But I just had to tell you guys, because Steven was like, did I just get insulted? I was like, yeah. 
Um, on the first course. Been subdued for a while. Glad to see you. Oh, subbed. Subbed? Oh, Glenn's from Cleveland. <sighs> I didn't care he was from Cleveland. We gotta go to Cleveland. Your, um, who's your man from... Your no, man? I don't have a bum. My friend. Your friend. That's what I meant. Hey, my name is Chris from Texas. Hey, Chris, enjoy your meal. Chris Tyler, how are you? We're great. Eduardo Hernandez. Well, the truth are, guys, well, the truth, you guys, guys are handsome and beautiful guys. I looked up to you guys. Been to Texas before? Never been to Texas. Actually, yeah, I had a layover in Houston. Did you get your Tabasco? Yes. He did get the Tabasco, yes. With my lime. With his lime. And my clam chowder. <laughs> see. So, like, what do you talk to them about? Everything? I just... Your fans? I don't know. I just, like, talk to them. Some of them respond. Some don't. Some ask questions. It's just like a hangout session. You know? Just celebrating my birthday. Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Yeah. Happy birthday. I'm 25. Quarter of a century. Yeah. Does Steve still visit Ecuador? Yes, I do. Yes. I go to Ecuador. My dad is going to Ecuador on Monday. Wish I could go with him, but no. It's okay. Gonna stay and work. Yeah. Full time jobs. Is Steven a little shy? Question mark. No. Maybe Very on shy. maybe on camera, not in person. You don't think I'm a shy person? I don't think so. Once you get to like know you, you're like really outgoing. Meantime, Mike is cooking dinner. <laughs> so, anyway, we should probably wrap it up. It's been like 37 minutes. Uh, Glenn says, I'm going to take Steve out on a date. Chris, do you like video games? Honestly, I hate video games. I never play them. I actually like video games, but nobody plays video games, I guess. Nobody? In, in our... In our age, maybe. In our age, right? In our age. So, he just called you old. Can Steve make a YouTube channel too so I can follow? Question mark. Who's asking that? Dallas214. What content would you like to see? What would you guys like to see from Steven? And what would you like to see, Mike? What? Well, touching himself in camera. You had your hand. <laughs> it's under the counter, so that's content. That's that's pretty much. There you go. That's pure I gold. Had itch, sorry. Steve must be wild behind closed doors. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if you only knew the stories. Yeah. So then, like. You talk to your friends again. Ask him about the Canadian in, in uh, no, Playa no. del Carmen. There's no Canadian. <laughs> We're not no, talking like about that on here. Absolutely. This is not. This is PG-13. This is, this is PG-13. Yeah, we're not going down that rabbit hole. I'm a first-time dog owner. Chris, that's great, buddy. I love Pearl. Dallas, interior decorating. He one-year-old. Oh, he's one-year-old. All right, well. Listen, we love you guys. Have a great night. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for cooking with me and Mike. Yeah, that was a lot. And of Steven. <laughs> I know it was Did a you cook at all? Yeah. I read some instructions. <laughs> That's about it. All right, I love you guys. Gotta go. Steven, say bye. Mike, say bye. Bye. Say bye in Spanish. Adios, amigos. We, oh, how often do you go live? Every couple days, probably now, starting this new cooking show. <laughs> You're eating everything? Sorry, Mike, you did all the work. I all know, the cooking. you did. Adios, mi amigos. Yes, I did all the work. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. <laughs> oh, God, all right, oh, I'm God, ending this. So dumb.